The Charm City Circulator Service is free and convenient for some, serving mostly downtown Baltimore and adjacent areas such as Johns Hopkins Hospital and Fort McHenry. A new plan would expand the service to lower income communities. One of the number one complaints that you get about it is how inequitable it is to a residents of Baltimore. Most notably and, and most, uh, the, the, the most shocking is that the residents in Cherry Hill, the circulator buses are stored in Cherry Hill, but they can't get on the circulator. We're looking to change that, taking it to neighborhoods where people don't have cars. The plan would expand service to reach more residents in East Baltimore and in West Baltimore. It reconfigures service to Fells Point, and it adds all new service to Cherry Hill. Studies done by the city show big disparities in how many people don't own cars. 54% in Cherry Hill, 53% in West Baltimore, 81% in parts of East Baltimore, just 10% in Federal Hill make do without a car. There is pushback to the plan. It reduces service on the Banner Route, which currently serves Locust Point and Fort McHenry. On his Twitter page today, City Council member Eric Costello, who represents the area, said, DOT is proposing cutting service to our community with significant modifications to the Purple Route and the elimination of half the Banner Route. He went on, while the proposed expansions are important, the proposed reductions are not acceptable. This is about not cutting away from folks, but really refocusing and doubling down on what we should be doing, and that's investing in transit for neighborhoods and people who desperately need it. A virtual public hearing on this plan begins at 6 p.m. this evening. Then a final draft should be finished by June. I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.